Hey guys, it's Katie with SMB, and today we're gonna install our Charge Air Cooler Outlet Pipe Kit on a 2017 and up power stroke. So before you begin, you wanna make sure that your ignition's turned off, your parking brake is set, and your engine has cooled down. You're gonna start by loosening this top clip. Next, you're going to need to use an extension to loosen the bottom clamp. After you've loosened both hose clamps, you can then remove the stock hose from the vehicle. I feel like that was too easy. Now you're going to disconnect the harness from the sensor, and you're going to do that by pushing down on the tab on this side and pulling up. Using a panel popper, you're going to remove the harness retainer from the hose barb. Next, you're going to use a pick to slightly lift the spring clip and then set it aside because we're going to use it later. You'll want to go all the way around and make sure that it's all the way off the plastic. Now you can remove the hose barb from the vehicle. Now you're going to remove the spring clip so we can transfer it to the s and hard pipe. When installing the spring clip, it's easier if you start with the opening up at the s and logo and then work your way around. Now you're just gonna to wanna to make sure that they're all fully in the groove. Use a small screwdriver to gently lift the tab up the ramp so then you can remove the sensor. Now you're gonna install the sensor into the SMB hard pipe and then you'll twist it over the ramp until it locks. To give yourself a little bit more room to work, you're then gonna remove the power steering reservoir mounting screw Set that to the side, and then you'll just pull it straight up and set it over here. Next, you're going to install the spring-loaded uh, T-bolt clamps onto the silicone tube. So the larger one is going to go at the top on the logo side, and the smaller one's going to go at the bottom. You're going to want to mount them just like this because it's going to be easier to install. Now you're just going to snake in the silicone tube and attach the small end to the intercooler. Using some clean engine oil, you're gonna put it on your hands and then you're gonna work around the O-ring, just slightly stretching it so it'll fit snug. Now you're gonna install that O-ring into this groove inside the hard pipe. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the O-ring is not loose in the groove. Um, so you can shake it or you can just run your finger around it to make sure that it's not. And if it is, you just take it out, keep stretching it and then reinstall it. And then once it fits nicely, you'll go ahead and lubricate the inside with diesel engine oil. And then you'll also lubricate the outside of the intake as well. You're just gonna push it all the way on until you hear the spring click and it's fully engaged. So once you've made sure that the spring is clicked and it's fully engaged, you're then going to start rotating the tube into position. And as you do that, lift this one. And it should rotate right in. Reconnect the harness to the temperature sensor. Now you're going to temporarily reinstall the power steering reservoir back into its slot. And then you're gonna to wanna to check to make sure that the silicone tube that you just installed is not touching any other components in the engine. And then you'll also wanna make sure that this clamp attached to the hose on the bottom of the reservoir isn't hitting the tube. And if it is, you can just move it slightly to the side. Now you wanna make sure that this clamp is accessible and also not running into the reservoir. And then this one's gonna be hard to see, but you just wanna make sure that it is accessible from the top as well. After you make sure that the clamps are in position and the silicone tube is fully on the uh, hard pipe and also on the intercooler, you're then gonna start with the bottom clamp and torque it to 75 inch pounds. Now you're gonna tighten down the top clamp again to 75 inch pounds. Reinstall the mounting screw for the power steering reservoir. Now you're gonna zip tie the temperature sensor harness so it doesn't move around.
Now that the installation is complete, you're just going to want to go back and inspect it. So you'll want to make sure that nothing is touching the hard pipe or the silicone, that everything is secure, and then that's it. So if you have any questions or you just want to know more, you can always check it out on our website or give us a call, and I'll see you next time.